it's your fault which is fine because it is his fault i'm gonna yeah, uh, i'm always, yeah. always going to blame the guy because he gave the commitment yep. but for her to nuts take accountability, accountability and say that she put him in a rock at a hard place is also disingenuous on her her part so this woman guys this is the culmination of a lack of respect which is never where you want to be because i'm going to tell you guys something very clear <laughs> women live far differently than we do a man can love a woman he does not respect but a woman definitely can't respect can't love a man she doesn't respect facts you That's know true. what i'm saying that's the reality so women love very differently than we do and this is why you must demand respect from your woman going back to what we were saying before you guys had some issues with me saying hey if your girl doesn't want to have sex with you you need to kick her to the curb the reason why and i didn't want to reveal it until now is that when a woman doesn't want to have sex with you anymore and you kind of alluded to it when you said well there's other problems there in the relationship mm -hmm. if she's not fucking him mm -hmm. that other problem is she no longer respects him a woman that respects a man and has genuine burning desire for that man is going to have sex with him on her period when she feels sick yep. when she doesn't want to do it when she might not be in the mood he didn't kiss her on the neck whatever it may be because the fear of losing him outweighs any temporary discomfort that she'll have from you know 10 minutes of of, of bedroom fun facts because she will find a way to turn herself on in her head because women you guys love cognitive turn on right you do you're gonna just uh, just by him walking in the room and smell him pushing you against the bed whatever it is you're gonna get turned on by the littlest things if you're attracted to him when you need all this extra shit he's gonna kiss me on the neck and talk dirty to me whatever fuck out of here you don't like him that much that's the reality you don't like him that much and you don't respect him that much so he has to do more if you have a guy that you that really makes you tingle you don't got to do all the extra shit which is why i tell you guys she doesn't have to like you, but she has to respect you first. Yeah. Okay. And you know how I know that the respect is gone when she said, "Chill, bro." <laughs> like legit. Any girl that tells me, "Bro," I've lost all type of like long term plans with you because if you call me, "Bro," and if you talk to me as the man of respect in your life, then to me it's like, "Yo, we just cool. We just we just vibing." But I'm not like a serious part of your life. So I'll say this as well.